My name is Daryl King, the king of real estate. Look at this. How high are these ceilings? Here comes King. My name is Jin Jen. I'm a single mom and a very competitive realtor. I'm Mike Donia. I eat, drink, and sleep luxury real estate. I'm Inez Kudrick. I'm the kind of agent who gives it to you straight. Four top agents, four spectacular houses, four choices, and only one decision. Martin and Cheryl are past clients of mine, and I'm so looking forward to working with them again. Well, welcome aboard Stress-Free well, for Thank a stress-free day. So my husband's already here. He's just waiting for us. So I'm going to get you to help me to come on board. Well, absolutely. I've already been looking at some properties in the beach, but there's a beautiful piece of land right on the Scarborough Bluffs that I know is going to pique their interest. And we couldn't have ordered a better day. Martin, this is what we need. Yep. This is what we well, after we're yeah. finished getting some houses, maybe we should come and look for boats for you, because I know you love boating, Mark. I do, I do. So I know we have some business to discuss on this beautiful day, so tell me, what are you looking for? We're not sure if it's a build, if it's a renovation, if it's a rental, but we're just really looking for something that, that we can invest in. My clients are very creative people, and they look forward to doing all kinds of creative things, especially that Martin. Is there any specific area that you're looking in? If it's the right project, it can be anywhere. I don't know, Martin. I want to stay in the beach. I'm not a risk taker. My kids, they don't want to move. I don't want to move. My mom is close to, to us, and Martin, you always said you would never move me away from my mom. You know that's important to me. But this is an investment property. It doesn't necessarily mean we move. We're just going to to maybe visit the property or use it as a uh, secondary property. Well, if we move, my mother is coming with us. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your price range? So uh, I think we're around uh, 1.5. I want you guys to look right over there. I have the most spectacular listing and it's a piece of raw land that no one knows about. Surprise! I knew you had something up your sleeve <laughs> getting us on this boat today. I'm excited. It's a great piece of real estate. It has a lot size of 20,000 square feet and it overlooks beautiful Lake Ontario. With a budget of one and a half million, they certainly have some room there. So wasn't this fun? What did you think? Well, awesome day. So thanks so much for taking us out. We really appreciate it. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, I am a little nervous though when you pointed up there. <laughs> okay, I'm right. seeing rocks. I'm seeing, I don't know. I'm not a risk I'm going to show you that property tomorrow. Maybe I'm going to change your mind. Boo. Woo! Hey! This exclusive parcel of land is located right on the cliffs of the Scarborough Bluffs. Is this what we saw yesterday on the boat? It is. So where's the house? So it had a beautiful home on it, but one of the storms took the roof off of it, just like in The Wizard of Oz, and out it went. So now it's raw land in the city of Toronto. It's so rare to find a piece of land like this in the city. I love it, love the location. I think it's spectacular. What you're proposing here is to build. What are the details on that? So it has to have all the sewage, the water, the electrical, everything would have to be brought in here. You'd have to dig a new foundation and put a home up. But the owner had permits before for a house that was 6,000 square feet. It's beautiful, the land plus building a house. Uh, this is looking like it's gonna cost a lot. Well, this house, just for the land, is $1.5 million. So what would be the cost of the build? So depending on how you want to finish it, it's going to be close to a million dollars. But the return on it would be magnificent. You would probably get $5.5 .5 million at the end of it. This is a soft spot for you, isn't it? It is. Yeah. I, I grew up uh, on the bluffs myself, so I've always loved this view. I would love to live here. My big concern is this looks really dangerous. I'm worried about the kids. They're, they're at an age, they're exploring, they're all over the place. I'm really worried about this kind of stuff. To have this kind of view, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to put up some safety structures. I do worry about the erosion though, Martin. Yeah, well, again, let's, let's take a look at the edge and just okay. see what it looks like. They could build a custom home there that's 6,000 square feet. So look at this view. Wow, it's, it's spectacular. It looks like the Caribbean. It looks like um, really you know, we're on vacation. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, well, I mean, really, what is not to love here? It's beautiful, I just, Time, Martin, time. I know you're going to be away all the time. 
Yeah, looking at this property in the land right now, I, I don't see a lot of erosion. I see it's really stabilized. So from that point of point of view, I think it's it's a great place to build. We have to speak with our accountants, see just how much we can stretch. It's certainly a consideration. Look at this. This new teardown property just came on the market, and I know Inez's clients will love it. What do you think of the neighborhood? I love this neighborhood. The Hunt Club is so exclusive, so I'm happy to be here. What have you got for me? These are the approved plans for a brand new 2,600 square foot custom house built on here. This property is in one of the most popular areas of the beach. This bungalow is on a 35 by 120 foot lot with great potential to build a second floor. There's a good 250, $300,000 profit here by taking on the project and building it yourself. That sounds exactly what my clients are looking for. They're looking for an opportunity and I already know that they're gonna love this neighborhood because of course it's got great schools and it's only five, six streets, right? On Club Six Streets, there's a golf course. Shops are down the corner and it's a project where you're gonna make money. It's a winner winner all the way around. I think it is too. So how many bedrooms have they got in these plans? They're gonna be putting in four bedrooms. Okay, and how many bathrooms? Four baths. Great open concept on the main floor. Okay, the drawings are already here. They just have to be submitted. Drawings are submitted, you'll be buying it with the permits. Ready to build. This could be a contender. I'm showing you a bungalow in the Hunt Club. Here it is. Okay. Wow, okay. Um, okay, it's a bungalow. What, what are you thinking? Okay, well, here, this is an opportunity. I have been given the drawings by the agent for the seller for a 2,600 square foot home to be built here. It's on a 35 by 120 lot. That's bigger than it looks. But I don't feel I need to go in because this is not somewhere I would live. It's somewhere I would gut. Okay, well, why don't we go Let's, around the backyard and then good. you can see how the backyard is and you can see how they're going to do the bump out. It's okay that they don't want to see the inside of this property. It's going to be a tear down anyway. So here we have the back of the house. Yeah, mm, it's, it's small. Yeah, the footprint of the building is smaller. You definitely want to expand that footprint in to get the square footage. The square footage returns the value, and that's really what you want to do. If you wanted to do the build here, you know that you would get your money back in a heartbeat. And it's also maybe a place that you guys would want to raise your children because, of course, it's the hunt club. But for us to make that move, yeah. we want a big backyard. It is a one-car garage right now. Yeah, the question is, is can we fit the pool in and still make it functional? <laughs> yeah. And that's that's always a challenge. You know, yeah. you'd want 10 more feet if you if you had your wish list. Well, before you kind of poo-poo the idea, here's the drawings. Oh, okay. okay. So it's great to have plans to do a okay. build. And I think this is something that Martin and Cheryl could really get involved in. Four bedrooms, four bathrooms. So That's we're not at sure. permits, but we have drawings, which is a great asset, and uh, so and we can even make adjustments on this. I love the area. It's where we want to be. So the price of the bungalow right now is 800000 What are you going to buy in the city of Toronto for that? And then the build, I'm going to say in between four fifty and five hundred, dollars with land transfer tax, which you had about a million one. But then the return mm -hmm. is one point five nine five, is what this one just sold for over here. So there you have a lot of room to make some money, too. After the one we saw yesterday, this would be more affordable for us. I'm glad they see the potential in this one. I think the kids too can still stay. It's in the same school district that we want to stay in. And of course, you know the schools here are great. How much time are we talking here? This looks like a big job again. You know, time is a big issue for me because it takes Martin away from the kids and I, and I don't want that. I would really comfortably put in 10 months to a year by the time of start to finish. Yeah, that's a absolutely. long time. Well, I mean, that's, I think that's pretty standard. Where do we live after we buy this? Do we stay in our house? What, what are we doing? We could rent this for a while mm -hmm. and then do a build. Or we could sell our home and do the build immediately and we might have to move in with your mom. <laughs> oh, yay! I think this could be a terrific place for Cheryl and Martin. My friend Carlo and Lisa of Design Generation Homes want to meet me in Mount Tremblant, Quebec. Sounds like a very interesting proposal. Daryl, welcome to Tremblant. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Tremblant is next on the agenda. This is our next project. We've got 26 exclusive lots, and it's on the north side of Lake Superior. Now, I think you guys told me they're on, what, one acre lots? Yes. Right on the mountainside. It's Water lake and, and the mountain. mountains. Yeah. Designed with all the windows Yes, around. 360 degrees, so glass box. Well, I've been coming here for years, skiing and golfing, and you know, you're about an hour and a quarter outside, an hour and a half tops outside of Montreal. 
a five-hour drive, roughly Toronto. That's right. So, so it would be attractive to Toronto buyers as well as a very much so. So you want me to represent you? That's what you're saying. You're the king of real estate, Lisa. You heard what his nickname is. No. Yeah. You know, he's been known as the prince of oh, buildings. <laughs> what does that make me? Lucky. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I have Inez. Inez is one of the agents that I work with a, a fair bit. So she might be the ideal person that has a good qualified buyer for your, be the first one actually in the new development. Right. Let me just give her a call right now. Okay. okay. And touch base with you guys here. That way if there's any questions, you can answer them for me. Sure. Very good. Right. Hi, Inez Kudrick. Hi, Inez. How are you? It's Daryl. You won't believe where I'm at. I'm sitting here in beautiful little village of Mount Tremblant. And, and you know why I'm calling? Because Carla and Lisa, they have 26 mountain view homes, a 360 degree view of all the mountains. For investors, it's, it's a great opportunity. Do you think you could drive them out here either tomorrow or the next day? No, it's impossible for them to come up there. Do you have a video or something that I could show them? Can we get a video to Inez and her investors in the next day or two? Right? Absolutely. Okay, Inez, we could get you a video and we'll send you all the information. We'll send you some stuff on Tremblant. We can show them that. Okay, great. Nice talking to you. Bye, Daryl. Imagine we sold the first lot while we're up here right away. Daryl, you sell this and Italy is yours. But what do we got in Italy? Oh, in Italy it's a spectacular concept of complete 360 degree views. A quaint town of San Vito, just south of Piscata. We have our own vineyard that is behind us. The mountain in Italy. Mountain in Italy. We'll put together the video after we go see the, the glass house and then the mountains. I can't wait to see this property in the Laurentian Mountains. I've done years of skiing up there myself. It sounds breathtaking. Driving up here just now and seeing this house from the road just took my breath away. There was a lot of heart done with this place. The property's on concrete piers. We went down 25 feet below the grade, dynamited. And what I wanted to create was a retro 1960s type of cool place. It looks amazing. Let's go in and see it. Okay, let's go. This two-story model home is a three-bedroom, three-bath, open concept masterpiece with floor-to-ceiling windows. Welcome to the glass house. It's, it's fantastic. Does it get any sexier? The view as you just walk in. Just the view. Yes. Take a moment, just breathe it in. You can just see it for miles. The point of this house was to have unobstructed views. It's so down to earth. Like, you know what, it's so down to earth. I'm taking my jacket off and I'm gonna make myself at home. I think everyone needs a little bit of peace, a getaway. This is what it's about. You did this beautiful stainless steel kitchen. Mm -hmm. Everything just fits in. When we look at the kitchen, we use a lot of cold materials like the stainless steel and the polished cabinets. And that's a contrast to all the warm materials. It's the natural, the old, from the earth, and the new. The whole house is meant to just be seen through so you can appreciate the nature. I'll take you to the living room, come. Again, very open concept. This is barn board that was cut for us. It was from an old barn. So this will last forever. As long as I own the home, it'll be there. For generations after generations after generations. This staircase is very heavy duty. What is that wood that you use? Douglas fir, suspended, open oh, risers. That's incredible. Oh my God, look at this little sex palace. Were you trying to save money on glass? There's no glass there. <laughs> Are you shy to be with someone you love to be well, naked? Well, get in here. Let's just <laughs> like... stand in here. The three of us could fit into this thing. <laughs> That's what this right? place was made for here. Look at this. I'm dying to get out here. This is like, yes. look at this. Oh my God. This is amazing. So this is the deck off of the master bedroom. Here. These are the Laurentian Mountains. That's called actually Mont Elephant over there. Stunning. It's like an oasis up in the mountains. 2,200 square feet with two decks. Let me show you the concepts that evolved from this beautiful right, structure. let's look at them. The choice of builds range from a budget of $450,000 up to the model home size for $1.5 million. Miniature versions of the glass house. So 360 degrees, as much glass as possible. The best shapes for that are cubes and cylinders. So we developed these two shapes. There's two stories, three stories, and there's actually a semi. That's a semi. That's a semi. So wow. there's a, a dividing wall here. And then there's, um, because it's a, a, a circle shape, it's a bungalow. So there's a single story, a two story. So there's a little, couple of little features upstairs. And then there's a semi as well. These it's look like the flight towers. <laughs> it's very right? cool. Very, very forward thinking designs. Very yeah. cool. It's totally out of the box. Can you imagine these on a mountainside? 
Oh, beautiful. I could imagine. And me in it, too. And it's a four-season resort as well. Very nice. upscale. What's not to love about this place? So when are we going to the site? Let's get over there. Let's I'm go. Time to go see it. So, Daryl, this is the view from the lot. From the balcony, this is actually what you'd be seeing out here. Now, this is a view. This is a perfect investment for someone because they're getting down the bottom floor. Right. So it's only going to increase in value. It's the perfect option for Nez's clients. One of the colleagues, Daryl, has sent us a property, so we're going to see it here on the video screen. It's just going to be awesome. I think you're really going to enjoy it. This place is like paradise in the mountains. What a great find. It's a great investment up in Montremblant. You could get in on the ground floor. What is the price? You could start at 450 all the way up to 1.5 million. Mm -hmm. It's not been built yet, so you get to pick and choose your own colors, your own designs, your own layouts, and everything like that. Is it easily rented? Right near the skiing. It could be rented out anytime, but I'm sure you guys want to go there since your parents yeah. are only an hour and a half in Montreal, right? Well, I like the sounds of this. Yeah, yep. Let's take a look. Wow, nice kitchen. Great counters. Uh, it's very sleek, something I like. I love the windows. Nice finishes. I like it. Yeah, I was just going to say the same thing. Wow. Beautiful. It's interesting, no drywall. So it's a uh, very rustic wood, uh, which is, is, is going to last longer, obviously. It's going to hold up much better. And it's oven ready. No work. I know. That's what I like. I think the uh, cabinetry and the uh, bathroom finishes look really great. Mm. Layout looks nice and open, like you could really utilize this as a great vacation spot. Mm. You yeah, know. no, I like the rustic and the modern and everything put together. I like it. Yeah, I, I see some mass appeal with this uh, property. I think the way it could be a great vacation use for us, and it would be a great vacation rental, which could generate some return for us uh, while it grows in value. But I don't know how you feel about this, because I know you like to get in there. You like to get your hands dirty. This is a long drive. Yeah, and if I'm not going to be involved, then right. I, you know, it's all about the return on investment. So how, you know, what are the numbers? Mm -hmm. What do you think it'll appreciate to you? You know, we're going to see a bunch of properties with you, and if uh, this one interests us, we'll pursue it further with some more questions. Okay, well, that's great. So I'll book a few more appointments and I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Okay. So I just spoke to Daryl on the phone and I told him this could be a great option for them. They just need to see a few more properties before they make their decision. So Carlo, thanks for meeting me here in Montreal. You're welcome. Montreal is a beautiful city. I want to let you know I talked to Inez. I sent, you know, you had the footage right. that you and Lisa prepared for me. Right. They love the glass house. They absolutely love the glass house. I love it. They love the ambiance of, you know, being up in the mountain with the 360s and all that. The, the, the only thing that they weren't quite sure about was sort of being in Tremblant versus maybe being in the outer area of Toronto, possibly. Right. Right? But everything else, you know, so they're going to take it into strong consideration. You know, if you could put something together, let me know. I'm meeting Ines to tell her about this great property that just came on the market. So I actually just got this new listing. You told me your client's interested in some investment property. This might be the one for them. Okay, so tell me about it. Three bedroom, okay. four bath, and over 3,000 square feet. So does it have potential to like build on to? Because they're looking for a project. Yeah. Well, you could potentially build on it. It's a huge lot. You could have additions. You could only do the renovations. Or you could just destroy the whole thing and build a new one. So what's the price of the house? It's 1.7 million. A little bit over their budget, but maybe something that they can do. Is it on the market now or are you just putting it up? I just got that listing. So okay. I could let you show it right away as the first one. I'll be happy to show it. Maybe this is the one. I think that they cool. were falling in love with Let's it. click to that. This property is located in the beautiful Mount Pleasant area of Toronto. It's near Sunnybrook Hospital and is in the excellent school district. This three bed, four bath house is over 100 years old with lots of character and great renovation potential. It is 3,000 square feet with a four car parking and a beautiful and spacious backyard. This property is listed for $1.7 million. This is such a great location in the heart of the city. What so, about schools and shopping we can walk to? You are so close to everything here. All the amenities of downtown Toronto are at your disposal here. Look at this veranda here. So private. It's a cute little porch, but it's just a little secluded for me here. There's a great deck that's at the front to look at the street and to see what's around you. Let's go and have a look. Okay. 
So it's a great place to come into. Look at the wide hallway. Love the wainscoting, love the banisters. Got some real old charm. I don't know, I like something more open. Separate dining room. The windows also look over the park. I love the trim, the baseboards. The house has the space to do the renos in. This looks huge, this looks like a big, it's a big job. It's definitely a big property. Well, know, it's a but... great location. I wouldn't give up on it yet. Yeah. All right. So let's go and have a look at the kitchen. The house is a little bit dated, but it has a lot of potential. It's like a blank canvas, and Ina's clients are the painters. Ooh, okay. This is more like it. I'm liking this. It has great mahogany cabinetry. Love this granite. Love the fact that all the backsplash is done in the same granite. It actually does look really pretty looking out the window there too. So yeah, I'm really warming up to it. What do you like? The yeah, floor the floors is like, flow through yeah. nice, easy to clean, easy to maintain. So far I like the house. I think it's great. You actually have a beautiful sunroom here as well. Love the uh, light. It's a great space. They are going to love this backyard. Mm. What is that? What is that out there? Looks like a man trap. Yikes. It's a great backyard, but... Inez, what is that? <laughs> this is where Cheryl's throwing you when you're nasty. Yes. Okay, wow. I like this place. <laughs> it's a fish pond, right? And the raccoons kept eating them, so she put this on here. Okay. That grate really was kind of weird. Great backyard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is beautiful. Nice and deep. You can do a lot with this. So the potential to build here is here. You can add on to this property and make it huge. And the price of this house is 1.7. Yeah, my worry is that this property is so old and that the, the structure isn't consistent enough for this type of modern building that returns the value for money with the square footage. Well, this street really has no ceiling. Even if you spent like 200 or 300,000 on doing an addition on the back, you'd certainly make that up. I love the backyard. It's got so much space for the kids. The only concern is Martin doing the renos. He is always on site. He's been a part of so many projects already. The less work he has to do, the better for our family. He wouldn't be doing the renos, right? He'd have to hire out for this. You guys have seen some great properties. You saw the, the raw land overlooking the right. bluffs, the bungalow and the hunt club. And you saw the video of the property in Mount Tremblant. They're great properties. So why don't we meet up in a couple of days and you can give me your decision. Perfect. Okay, perfect. perfect. Great. Martin and Cheryl have seen four great properties. So it's decision day. You saw that great piece of property sitting on the bluff, that rare piece of property mm -hmm. with that yeah, fabulous nice. view. It was. And that was 1.5, right? But the build would probably cost you around a million dollars. And then of course, the bungalow. Mm -hmm. Sitting yeah, in nice the hunt too. club, close to everything for 800,000. Mm -hmm. And then turn around and it would be worth around 1.6. Then the property in Montremblant. That would be a great investment property. You could rent it out when you weren't there. Mm -hmm. And it could be right up to about a million five. And then of course the property at Mount Pleasant in Eglinton. Close to Young Street, close to Mount Pleasant. Had room to build onto. And the price of this house is 1.7. So I've been waiting to hear your decision. What is it? Well. Lots of thought. Uh -huh. we, you know, what we really love, our favorite was the hunt club yeah property. definitely sure. winner winner chicken dinner wow so close but no cigar it is still close to home still within the school district martin can get there and back for dinner for bedtime we might just make that our forever home and as you did it again so you know what we should go and celebrate absolutely yeah let's, let's do, do it let's go and celebrate no problem